done they definitely need doing morning on the way to Olive Young I need to get a face mask because my skin is extremely dry <laughs> I often get asked about um, darker skin foundation or makeup. Olive Young definitely doesn't have any dark skin foundation. They've got loads of, you know, mascara, lipstick, and all those kind of stuff that we can use. Yeah. <laughs> kiwi. Ne, kiwi. Ne. Ne. finally ready my loves just um you know final touches i'm going through this really weird stage where i don't like anything i wear like i don't like anything any of my outfits um and i think it's because i'm currently going through like a transition like a style transition and i'm at the stage where i don't like shopping i don't like anything in my wardrobe and i just can't really find like really nice pieces that i like and I think I don't know what my style is anymore so it's like definitely changing um, and I think it's becoming a lot more conservative as well because you know living in Korea anyway this is today's outfit um, I might have to show you properly when I get outside but I'm wearing this blazer that I bought from a, a charity store here I always shop at charity stores here in Korea. You just find really nice, affordable, classic pieces that you definitely won't find like anywhere else pretty much. And it's got this padding on the shoulders. I don't really like padding, but this is very nice and structured. And what I like about this blazer as well is that it has like a little cinch in in the waist. It's baggy, but like still kind of like gives you that nice silhouette. Um, and then I'm wearing like a, a top under and this knitted vest. I'm wearing these um, trousers from Zara and my Converse's as well. My bag is from, um, I can't remember, but it's a, like a store that I found here in Korea. My necklace that my mum gave me and these earrings as well that my mum gave me. Oh, I didn't show you my nails. I just went for these nudie, pinky, peachy colour. It's giving me very feminine vibes. Quite summery as well, but I really like them. I'm gonna keep saying this, but these are my real nails. I, I still can't believe it. My nails do not grow. I've really been looking after them and the nail salon, to be honest, all credit goes to them because those girls are just so lovely and yeah. And I actually cut them shorter. But yeah, okay, let's go. This is why I take the subway everywhere I go. Look at that traffic. Missed the train by one second. <laughs> So tell me who's gonna love you, love you like I do Who's gonna touch you, touch you like I do Who's gonna love you, love you like I do Go. Uh, okay. Yeah, where, where uh, are you going? Uh, shopping. Shopping. Yeah. Where? Where? Uh, just around. the bookstore well the book alley i did read online that like all of the books are in korean they have like historic books that you won't really find anywhere else a lot of them are also very old that have survived the war oh my gosh 
I've just found a Markham X book and it's in Hangul. That is amazing. I would have never ever have thought to find this here. Has anyone read this book? Let me know. My friend bought it for me before. Really, really good. <laughs> I promised the old lady I'm gonna buy the hat from her, so I need to find where she is. I have no idea where she is now. Hmm? Oh. I'm this lady's little shop, I can't find her. I think I'm getting close because I remember I walked past this door. She must be down this road. I found her! <laughs> Got my hat. Asked her if she can record me. It was the cutest thing ever. I don't think she actually captured it, but it's fine. <laughs> why I came here. I really don't like fish like that. This poor fish is looking a bit miserable. There's an upstairs part so I'm just going up now. Oh, restaurants up here. You know where people eat like those raw squid? You dip it in salt and it starts moving. This is the place. So this is where the locals come and eat the crab. If you guys saw the size of the crab that I just saw, it was massive. It was huge. <laughs> okay. Good, good, very good. Okay, very good, very good. I wasn't even planning to eat in this place. A woman stopped me. She was so persistent. Never have I had anyone this persistent in Korea. Usually, when you tell them you don't want to, like you don't want anything, they leave you. This woman made me sit down. So as you can see, I'm currently sitting down. Basically, created a meal for me for my price because I was like, babe, I'm on a budget. The seafood here is like it's for a large group of people, and it's like a huge size. So it's like 50,000, 70,000 and so and yeah. She created like a little meal for me and then she, she asked me like do I speak Chinese and I was like no and then I was like why? She, and she told me that she's from Beijing. Koreans are not this persistent like if you say no like you don't want to do something or you don't want to eat, you don't want to buy it, they will leave you to go. Chinese people on the other hand, they know how to hustle, they know how to hustle. <laughs> she made me a good deal. Let me show you guys what it what I put here. I think that's a shrimp or prawn, some uh, octopus, some scallop. Oh my gosh. Grilled scallop. I've never had these before. I'm not a fan of sushi or anything raw. She said this is cooked. I don't I don't know how to eat this. Is this one of those things that you're supposed to suck? Mm -mm. Me and raw seafood is not. If you're supposed to suck that, I'm definitely not doing that, so I've just like took it out of the shell. She told me to dip it in the soy sauce. Let's give it a try. I can't eat the scallop. It's not for me. The squid and the, the prawn. Five stars. I didn't eat that, <laughs> but I did eat pretty much everything else. This was so nice and I couldn't finish. Yeah, at all but you know when in Rome do as the Romes you know that seafood is fresh because it were right by the sea some guys are staring at me you're probably thinking look at these Millennials eh that's all they know to capture every single moment oh this is so beautiful I wish you could witness this with me like, I wish you guys could be right here. It's time to go home. Believe it or not, I've actually got a Korean lesson at 9pm. <laughs> 